Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another purchase or pass video. I'm always excited to look at the new makeup releases and just think about whether I like them or not. And hopefully I'm passing on them all. So if you want to go through them with me, keep watching this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. you guys so first of all I want to say I hope that you have had a wonderful week and if you didn't I hope that you're doing something for yourself to just decompress from this week and get you ready for the next one today is also my sister's birthday so it's Friday the 22nd so happy birthday Arielle I know you will watch this at some point and I'm so excited because the day when this video goes up, which will be Saturday, I'm gonna be hanging out with her, eating some crabs, and I'm really excited about that. Now, I do wanna go over some purchases that I've made because, I mean, a couple were surprises. So let me just tell you about that. I finally decided that I was gonna go ahead and get the Pat McGrath palette, I know. That might make me a clown, but I have really just reflected on my feelings about Pat McGrath, where the brand is going, and you know, who am I to be upset with the color story that she chose? I think it is beautiful. It just wasn't what I wanted for the Mothership 10. I do want to do another Mothership ranking video, and I'm gonna be doing that as well. So I am excited. I think in my mind, for me, and that's the key, me, I was just thinking if I was at my 10th palette and I was, you know, fortunate enough to have something like that, I'd want to be rolling out the red carpet and just not teasing it. I feel like there was so much more teasing for Utopian Dream. And this one was like a day or two of a little teaser and then the whole thing was 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 dropped. I was like, well, is she gonna come out with merch? Maybe there's something else. But this is it. Maybe I I, I can't be mad because I'm trying to have a softer and simpler life. So you know what? Less things I had to buy because the palette's already expensive. So she did have a couple bundles. She had one with the Intensify. She had one with a blush and a highlighter. I said no. I just went ahead and just got the palette and that's it. So maybe it's good that she didn't release a whole bunch of, of things and, and no merch. Maybe that's all a good thing. Now let me talk about two surprises. The first surprise that I purchased is the Uma Beauty Make It Black Freedom Palette. Now, one of you mentioned it in the comments and was talking about it, and I never went back to look at it, and I don't even think that I mentioned it in a makeup release video. Or maybe I wasn't doing it at that time. I don't know, maybe I was, I'm not sure. But I have to say that I watched two videos one by Millie from Bad to the Brow, and then the second one was by Martina Lilly. And the looks that they did with this palette, y'all, I was taken aback. I was, I was gonna say hoodwink bamboozled and led astray, but that wouldn't make sense. I just wanted to say that, so no, I wasn't that. But I was really surprised in a great way, you know? I think that it becomes very hard to be excited about some of these releases when we have them already in a way, you know, across brands or in, within the same brand. But this excited me and I was just like, wow, why aren't more people talking about this palette? Why is everybody talking about Natasha Denona bronze? Like this is like bronze and then some. This palette looks fantastic. So I ordered it, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I ordered that and then Odin's Eye put their Alva collection on sale. Now this palette might not be up everyone's alley, but it, but it's up mine. It. Flash. Mm -hmm. flash. When they're ready, you can ask Mr. Tyrone. This boy is eating all day. The Alva series palette has the little mini circle pans like the Norns palette. It's got like some mauves, it's beautiful orangey yellow. It's got some browns. I did that. So those two purchases were surprises there were there were not things that were on my radar anything that i was thinking about but i also don't really feel bad 
I did not get the Sonia G mini Kiaki set, which could change by the time you're watching this video. Every day I go back and forth on whether or not I'd like to get that mini brush set, but I don't really need it. I think what I like about that is that you get five Sonia G brushes. Well, actually, you know, I was gonna say you get five for 160, but you know what? Okay, this is it. Cause I have the sky set and that was like 160, but with the face brushes that you get in this set, I think it would take it up a notch, you know, dollar wise. So I'm kind of like, mm, this might be a nice um, set, but as of now, I have not done anything with that. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I constantly have a Terra Moons cart. I'm gonna wait for Black Friday. I'm still going strong. So now we're going to talk about some new makeup releases and let's see what we are thinking about them. I have been kind of looking throughout the week and just haven't had a chance to really, really reflect on them. That's why I like doing these videos and I like having my initial reaction because I can make myself want anything or watch certain content creators and be like, okay, I want this now. So I like kind of documenting my initial thoughts on these releases. So we're looking at makeup release radar as per usual, and just gonna go ahead and scroll right on down to where we left off last week and see what we've got going on. Now let me scoot over before I forget. Yeah, I see Annabelle back there. I also did not push the button on the Clarity Lily palette. I wanted to, but I did not. I think that it wouldn't get the use that I wanted to get. And then two of these like plummy shades look really similar. So I made that a reason to say no. You know what I'm saying? Whatever I can do to help me say no is what I'm going to do. Now some of these things I did mention that we're seeing now. Talked about Patrick Ta's brow products. I said no. The mini Kiaki set by Sonya G is there. You all can see that. Now, what is this? Hip Dot Black Parade. What is this? Oh, My Chemical Romance Black Parade. Got it. Okay. Oh, you know what? Look at this, a mother war, fear and regret. I'm into the, the names. So this is gonna be a pass. Look at this, is this a, what is this? A pressed powder? What is this? Look at that embossing, I was gonna say embroidery. <laughs> I'm not a chemical romance fan. Like if I was, I would probably be all over this. It, I don't even know what song they sing, but this almost looks like a collab that's not corny. Does that make sense? Like it's not corny. Because Hip Dot and a bunch of other brands do collabs and sometimes I'm just like, no. This looks kind of neat. So the, the white uh, compact is a face paint. So that's very interesting. Let's see, let's see what they're saying in the comments. Oh, someone said absolute joke. Oh, well, well maybe this isn't a good representation. Hmm. Uh, oh, oh wow. The little guy is pretty cute, but MCR music is whiny and annoying. Okay. I don't know the song. We're going to move on. This is a pass for me. Let me know what you think. I, I was thinking this was cool. Okay. D little do I know. Talked about Dior's powder. We talked about Amunet. This came out. I was actually sent the light version of the palette. So I will be doing a video with that and hopefully it will be up this coming week. I have the, the new light version and I have the older dark version. So that's that. Did not get the primal palette. Lots of reviews are going up. I just was not interested in this. To me, it's another rainbow palette. I know last week I skipped this Makeup Forever mascara. So let's see. I think it's double ended to for one side to add the volume and one side to add the length. I don't know, but this is a no. I talked at the very end of last week about the Natasha Denona mini bronze. Now, I will say that this mini bronze definitely matches the mini, but why get the mini when you can get the mini? Just wait for VIB. That mini bronze palette is one of my favorite palettes in my entire collection. Entire collection, not one bad seat in the house, all the shades go well together, and you get more than one shimmer. If you don't like bigger palettes, this could be a quick grab and go, but I'm gonna grab and go with the mini. I don't know. I'm just not one of these people that's traveling all the time. I'm like, oh my God, I just need this for travel. No, I'm gonna travel with the, the, the other one, the one that I love. So this was a no. I see that she's making a, a small palette for each larger one. So if this color story appear, appeals to you, 
and you like it and you don't have the midi bronze or you haven't tried Natasha Denona, this is a smart move. So I'm not mad. I'm gonna just choose to keep my wallet safe. I also mentioned these lipsticks at the end of last week and these are now out, these Dior Forever Transfer Proof Lipsticks. <laughs> my mind, my heart and my wallet all want to hold on to the coins but in reality i would like to just at least try to i have four in my sephora loves cart and i i'm, I'm just curious about these but i already know they're going to be good I, I mean if their lipsticks are the same as the ones i have like i i know i'm going to love them so they're $42. I mean, that's that's expensive. I also should pass on these based on the amount of Lisa Eldridge lipsticks that I purchased recently, which I'm absolutely loving, by the way. I have a combination of Velvet Affair with the Nubian Sands from Juvia's Place. I just wanted something a little lighter with this blue eye look that I'm not sure if I like yet. All right, let's see. Ilya, they have a liquid powder eyeshadow tint. An eyeshadow tint? Okay, this comes in matte and metallic shades. Cream to powder eyeshadow that dries down to a crease resistant finish. Okay, they don't even have it on anybody's eyes. Like a tint? What is an eyeshadow tint? I've never heard of an eyeshadow tint. I like saying tint. <laughs> this is a no. I don't find myself using liquid eyeshadow. So I have to say no. The Lisa Eldridge ones are coming out. I, I'm gonna have to say no. Let's move on. Too Faced has a Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. Now this is available now. It also has hyaluronic acid in it. This is a no for me. I do not need any powders. I don't know how I got into the situation where I have several powders. Like maybe because I buy the same types of powders with the same types of finish, I'm not seeing the difference. They all look the same. So I don't need to buy anything else because I'm going to keep buying the same thing. So Nabla has these Cupid's Arrow Stylos. So they're like eyeliners. This is definitely a pass. No, thank you. They are $17 and six cents a piece. If that's something you're interested in. I don't think they're bad. I, it's just not something I need. Ooh, okay. Fude Beauty is releasing their Bioto brush set. This is a, a hard pass. Brushes look beautiful. They are made from gray squirrel. <gasps> okay, wait. So, mm, they have 24 karat gold plated ferrules. So we have 575 for the five series and 895 for the complete set. And it is a hard no, y'all. Mm-mm, no. Kaja Beauty has a non-sticky mini lip gloss set. I'm gonna move on, cause that's a no. And then we have Essence Cosmetics coming out with the cutest shell collection, which is a very cute name. Face Glow Booster Nail Polish Lip Balm and a bag and brush set. This is available in Europe, which means it's probably not available here at this time, but it will be here. This is a no. Talked about Melt releasing two new cream blushes. So those did release on the 18th, if you were interested in those. I don't know this brand, For Art Sakes Cosmetics. For Art Sakes. These are highlighter sticks and there are five shades. $14 each. Let me know if you've tried this brand but I will not be trying for art's sake at this time. I like the picture. Black Moxie Cosmetics has restocked the Potion Eyeshadow Palette. I remember looking at this one. Very, very beautiful palette. Have not looked at any reviews. This is gonna be a no for me, but you can get 15% off if you use the code RADAR15. Now I've never heard of this brand, Makeup by Kiwi. They have the Color Me Purple Eyeshadow Palette. That's what it looks like. This reminds me of one I used to have from ColourPop. Three mattes, four foils, one dual chrome, one shimmer, $38. This is a no. Let me know if you've tried Makeup by Kiwi. Smashbox has a Sheer to Stay. Destroy. Okay, these names. <laughs> sheer to Stay Cheek and Lip Stain. This is gonna be a no. I think that you cannot try every single one. I, I feel like every brand is coming out with their version of everything that's out now. And I get it because they don't want you to stray. They don't want you to go elsewhere. So they're gonna make everything. Everyone's gonna have a skin tint. Everyone's gonna have a, a cream blush. Everyone's gonna, have, so I get it. But I can't try every brand. I'm not getting down like that. So that's a no, but it looks nice. Talk to us. Now we're gonna talk. Thank you. 
is it me? What are we doing? The, it doesn't even have a clever name. Heal eyeshadow palette. Daddy, chill. They could have given this a clever name. Like if this was my palette, you know what I would have called it? Stilettos up in the club. We rockin' stilettos, ho. We rockin' stilettos, ho. That would have got me pumped. Something. What is this? Okay. Nine colors, high pigment, cardboard, eyeshadow palettes. No, no, no. $80 for the bundle. $80? This is an 80 no. No. Okay, no. No, no, no. Moving on. I can't do this anymore in my life. Pleasing. What's pleasing? Not this collection. Sorry, let me stop. All right, four nail polishes. These are cute. Wet bottoms. Okay, no. I gotta move on. Now, there's this AF94 brand by Hazley who has another brand. This is her second brand. So I don't I don't even know about any brand. What I do know is it's a no. Well, I gotta move on, y'all. I'm so sorry. Okay, Mario's coming out. He he's gotta add some another shade, pink glow. That's a no. I do have two of those and they're cool, but you only need one. You, you just need one. You don't need two. What else have we got here? Cause I'm just not into the foolery. Westman Atelier has a new baby cheeks blush. And the shade is Mimi. Oh, I did purchase one of these from Macari for significantly cheaper than the regular price. It's nice. You know what I'm saying? But it's nice if it's cheap. Moving on. It's a no. Talked about the Hourglass Foundation. This is going to be a no right now. Although I would be curious to try the Hourglass, but... I just have too many things to work through, so I'm gonna go ahead and say no. Now, Juvia's place. Juvia, they have come out, oh, well, they're extending their, their blush duo collection. There are six duos. I don't know how many they had originally, but it is the blushed extension. You need to leave. Does it say extension on there? Cause I just feel like that's too much. Like extension makes me feel like when I have to ask for an extension every single time I have to do my report cards and I'll be like, Ronnie, I need an extension. Daddy chill. So that, no. These are pretty. I think they're gonna be nice blushes. They are gonna be a no. I feel like I'm all blushed out. Now I did see this by Givenchy. So you've got this blush highlighter. I don't need it to be loose. So this is a no. This is a no. I don't like these chains either, just so y'all know. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and pass on that. I think there are a lot of blush lights, a lot. There's tons of them, y'all. Just choose your brand. We cannot be preoccupied with trying every single formula. We just can't do it. And I guess with this collection, they've got, you know, a lipstick and, and this little balmy lipstick and they look nice. But it's gonna be a nice no. If you see me scroll past anything, you're like, oh, why is she not talking about that? Like for instance, this Ace Beauté Palatopoly. I did talk about that last week and I thought it was a very cute idea. I just don't really like the palette and I honestly, I don't have time to sit and play the game. Daddy chill. That's just, that, it is what it is. Nude Sticks has got the Tinted Blur Sculpt Sticks. So just, you know what I'm saying? More, more of the same. Now I have not tried nude sticks, but they look nice. But it's a nice no. Same with this REM Beauty. What are they getting? Sweetener concealer. Sixty shades. Sixty shades. That's a nice range, Ariana. I don't need any concealer. I might consider that sixty shades is nice. I feel like you really be able to find your your shade. But here's the thing. Do they sell REM Beauty in stores? Because I'm just curious, would you be able to try these in store? I mean, 60 shades, there's so many undertones and differences. I think that's, ooh, that's really good and ambitious. 60? How many foundations come in 60 shades? Cause Rihanna did the damn thing. She had 40 on launch. We'll talk about Rihanna. Tower 20, is this, oh, Tower 28, not 20. I don't know where Tower 20 is. But this is Tower 28, and they have Office Hours, Luminous Tinted Balm. And what else is, is there? Oh, it's a balm for the cheeks and lips. And then there's the Shine On Lip Jelly in the shade Sesame. Okay, 
So it's like a gloss bomb and then this little cheek lip tint. I like the shade though. It's really cute. I just, I'm just sure I have this here. I've not really tried any of these types of products from Tower 28. So let me know what you think about them. Good Molecules has an acne foaming cleanser. I like Good Molecules. I've tried like two or three things from them now and they're really, really affordable. So this would probably be a nice cleanser and they have a nothing to hide ingredient list. I'm into that. Hmm. $12 at Beautylish. Definitely into that, not getting it. I'd also be interested. Oh, I'm not getting it because I just have a lot of skincare washes, trim mood box stuff here. I just cannot be bringing extra skincare in when I have so much here, which is why I'm not gonna purchase this, but I would be interested. So we've got the Olay Henriksen Banana Bright and Vitamin Eye Cream. Yes, this looks good. It's got real gold in it. So, hey, you can't go wrong, right? It has triple vitamin C gold complex with real gold, citrus bio, bioflavonoids, and banana powder inspired pigments. And this is $42. Now, I'm gonna show you what I'm using now. So right now for my eyes, I'm using this super multi corrective eye zone treatment from Kiehl's. You put it on your brow bone, eyelid, outer corner, and under eye. That's the one that I decided to buy after I ran out of whichever one I had last. So I, I've just always tried different things for skincare, but I would like to try this one next. So let's just put that on the, we will get it, but not right now list. Now we also have, ooh, look at this eye cream, Herbivore Botanicals. Hmm, this looks good. Moon Dew, a line filling cream. So yeah, this one is, I don't have a price. This is gonna be on the Sephora app tomorrow. Let me know what y'all think. Have you tried anything from Herbivore? Talked about the Gimme Glow palettes. Ooh, we also have another makeup remover of flavor from a pharmacy. I would be interested in the peaches and clean. So right now for a balm, I'm using the oat cleansing balm from the Inky List, but I do think I like the pharmacy better. I can't really explain the reason, but I, I do think I like it better and that it does a better job, but I gotta finish out what I have before I get something else. I think I will enjoy that. Now Cash Beauty, has a glaze duo, a highlight, and a blush. Is it just one shade? Okay. $35. I mean, that's a no. I just I just have enough of that. Victoria Beckham has another lip tint shade out in the shade Paupette. This is a pass for me. I need her to have 20% off, please. Donessa has the light work edit. Uh, wait a minute. I thought it said the light work little, little expensive. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought where it said light work three experience palette. I thought it said light work little experience palette. Cause it is, it's a little experience palette. Like it's a little version of the big one. So this just released. I don't know if she does any type of PR or anything like that. Cause I haven't seen anything up. I definitely have shades like this, but I think that if you're not somebody that is into indie makeup, singles and things like that, eyeshadow singles, getting this type of palette just makes sense. And it makes more sense maybe than that bigger one that was out. I don't know. Cause you, you get a nice variety of beautiful duochromes, but for me, this palette, I don't wanna say it'd be useless in my collection, but it would be, it, it would be. And I just have to acknowledge that. And maybe she'll come out with a different uh, color story that I will be able to try in the future. But these all shimmer palettes, I've gotta be, gotta be selective y'all. So it's a no, $85, it is out. Now Color Rain is going to be releasing skin sticks as well. It's a multi-use foundation in 26 shades and it's coming soon. Keep y'all posted on that. So in the next episode of We're Not Getting a Rihanna Album Anytime Soon, she is releasing some new shades in these matchsticks. And you know what is so funny about this? I have so many of those matchsticks. I only have the one, like the trio for my skin complexion and the concealer and the highlighter. But as far as those highlighting ones, I have so many. And then I have the ones that she released in the minis. I have them all. And part of me was like, 
should I keep these? Should I declutter them? I'm actually glad that I didn't because I have a lot of these shades. I actually like these. Now, let, let me see what's happening here. Because these shades right here, are these, are these color correctors? I'm looking at, let me just see, R rose quartz and banana and even peach. Like, I don't know what those are. Now, soft amber, amber suede and suedish are the contours. I'm definitely not interested in these. They're just like those, you know, contours are mostly like gray, kind of that gray brown. That's enough. Now we have crowned ice cream and truffles park. Oh, I'm sorry. Truffle park. Truffle spark. Wait, see, okay, teacher, listen. It could be Truffles Park. Like, let's go take a drive through Truffles Park. Terminate. Or Truffle Spark. It's Truffle Spark, though, y'all. I'm losing, y'all you know. Uh, I wasn't even looking at the caption because I'm just having fun. I have not filmed in a few days or done any makeup, so like, I'm. I have that giddy feeling. All right, um, let me look at these here. So like, I have confetti, starstruck. I have champagne heist, yacht life, cinnamon. See, I have a lot of these. Oh, pumpkin, is pumpkin like the red, the red um, color corrector that people use? I always see makeup Shayla use that, the red one. So that's what these are. Okay, I had to talk myself through it. And maybe I talked you through it, or maybe you knew, cause y'all know. I'm just learning. What up? What do we have? No, no. Sorry, y'all. I'm not doing the Kylie liquid lipsticks. I just got one more. Now, More Beauty has a soft focus waterproof setting powder coming out. It might be out now. Nope. July 21st. Yep, it's out. And there are six shades. Again, passing because I don't need the setting powder. Talked about the Sonya G brush sets, the Kiyaki set, and the, the Ninji Pro is the other one. So I'm not even going to get into all of that. So Necessaire is releasing a sunscreen that also contains hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. This is going to be a pass for me. I'm still using my Tatcha. This is available now if you're a Rouge at Sephora for early access and it's $35. Clarity Cosmetics is releasing some luxe lip liners and there are 36 of them. That's a whole line for real. And these are coming soon, so we'll, we'll stay tuned. Clay It Cool ColourPop. Surprise, surprise. Very cute, very Natasha Denona mini bronze. I might go for this over the mini bronze because you just have, you know, a lot more to play with. Swatches look great. The shade Body Talk. Yeah, those shades look nice, truth be told. But it's going to be a no for me. This is available now. Talked about bunnies. We've got, oh, Sakura Moon Beauty. So this palette looks really beautiful. I have never heard of this brand. The Elder Emo Palette. This is gorgeous. It came out today. I think the color story swatched out looks really nice. And I'm not sure if I didn't see those swatches would I like this color story, but it looks good. I'm gonna admire from afar. Definitely like it. I already talked to y'all about Pat. <sighs> yes, I did that. And uh, as soon as it gets here, I will be doing my little review. Oh, we talked about Chanel. So a lot of things we're seeing are the same, which is probably getting closer and closer to the release. I talked about this one a couple weeks ago, the fall release. I think this is a very cute quad. Not sure if I'm getting it or it's for me, but we've got these nice lipsticks. There's a red mascara, which definitely interests me. Dior is going to be coming out with a red slash burgundy mascara. So I am into that. And let me just scroll up because she did post again about the Chanel collection, which is here with these nudie lipsticks and polishes. They look really, really nice. Um, this is available on August 5th in Japan. So it's gonna be a while before we get something like this, but at least you can save your coins because the lipsticks are like 38. The little quad is gonna be, I think this is 62. It's expensive. I can't really say whether or not I'd be getting that this time. I only, I only got one quad because it is expensive. So that's, that's, I just love that thing. All right, let me scroll back down. This is Louboutin Beauty. Look at these lipsticks, really nice, fun shades. Look at that. That reminds me of Faux Pas by Mama Pat. Yeah, oh, and Gucci has a green like this too. So 12 shades, six satins, 
and some of them are limited edition i don't have the pricing information and they're that's they're going to be released in japan first very nice i most likely won't be getting these at all we've got a dior quint coming as well love the embossing but definitely need to see this in person because the one thing i know about dior there are some discrepancies at times because all of these little beige shades just like they're gonna be the same like you just can only wear the, the shade in the middle and then one other shade and then that's it so I, i'd love to see what that really looks like the trampy vamp okay look at this eyeshadow palette nice story available now uh, this is a pass all right Guerlain is releasing a gold skin foundation all shades develop according to the skin tone of asian women what okay thank you for letting us know okay uh -uh. oh now this brand i've never said this brand like out loud suasu suasu official they have a radiance refining mask with ginseng all of these skincare things are, are going to be no's for me so i'm just letting you know now kali's got a lip and perfume set. i'm gonna move on this almost reminds me of like hey we need to put something out let's do this uh because i yeah yeah this is a no there are two best sellers that they put together to make you want it no it's a no oh here are the um and it looks like these are the swatches from the clarity lip liners lots and lots of shades but this is gonna be a no for now I'm a little shocked because I feel like these shades exist might be wrong but these are yeah three new shades from Char golden eyes to mesmerize we got golden eclipse exaggerized and sunlit glow I am certain these look very similar to the ones that she came out with previously these are a pass rose ink is coming out with their blush divine radiant lip and cheek colors so it is a multi-purpose situation love these colors of course but i am going to love it from afar let me see yeah they are available now i don't see the price and i still haven't tried rose ink yet but eventually i will but there is really no rush talked about the nasa oh when i saw these i thought this was was it mmm mitchell the one that makes the blush but this is metamorphosis bf and this is a liquid bronzer if you're interested definitely let me know your thoughts about about this and about this brand they are $8.99 each or $30.99 for a bundle of four or for all four no we would need all four they look nice let me know what you think these are up yes i feel like this video might be long this week y'all let's go to trim mood Thank you as always, Makeup Release Radar, for giving us the tea. Now, this, y'all, I'm starting from the top this time. When this goes on sale, just for the cupcake, look at the little cupcake and look at the little rainbow crystals and the gummy bears when it goes on sale. Cause Batman is now 40% off, but I'm not, I'm not ready. I'm not, I'm not gonna be doing Batman. I just don't love it enough. But this, let me read y'all the notes. Hold on. Playfulness and, first of all, it's called Sweet Dreams. Playfulness and sweet, it's like taking a bite of your most favorite sweet dessert. Limited edition. Listen to the notes. Top notes are peach nectar, you already got me. Orange, sanguine, and Divana. Now, Divana is an essential oil that it smells like candy. That's what it smells like. I have some. The heart notes are narcotic, osmanthus. Indian Jasmine rum. Smell the taste. Okay. Base notes are Amber Woods, Indonesian Patchouli, and Cedarwood Atlas. It's very, very interesting. $3.95 though. I can't get to that right now. But this is so, so, so pretty. Yes. Oh my God. It's a no for now. Let's see. Oh, Fenty. She's moving into there's no more music from rihanna stop asking me uh let's see lancome has a makeup remover okay let's see if there's anything else 
I think we're covered. Yeah, let's move on. Let's go to Makeup Craze. Sorry, because Beyonce coming out next week. So on the 29th, which is, I'm really excited about that. All right, going to Makeup Craze. What's happening here? So what I'm seeing here is that sometimes there are conflicting feelings about brands that come out with dupes, I guess, of higher end brands. But what I think is that every brand wants you to shop exclusively from their brand. That's what I think. Everybody wants you to be exclusive. I, I see brands just releasing more and more things that may not have been in their wheelhouse. Is that the word I'm looking for in the beginning? Because they're expanding and they want you to shop from their brand. That, that's all I can say. Like look at all the bronzers this year, all the glowy products, all the little, like the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter products. I mean, every brand is going to want to come out with something so you can just be exclusive to them, I think. And that's, that's what I think. Like, what is the name of the elf product? Halo glow liquid filter versus flawless filter. I don't know. I mean, and I think the other thing is, is like maybe everybody doesn't want to buy the Charlotte Tilbury one, or maybe everybody doesn't want to pay that amount of money. And I think that's fine too. I just say, put your money where you want to put it. That's, that's how I feel. Maybe I can't afford it. So I could maybe save up for it, but maybe I don't want to. Maybe I don't want to save up for that. Maybe I want to just buy the Elf one because I like Elf and I shop from Elf and I like their products and I want to try the Elf one. So I don't know. That's just what that is. I just wanted to um, share that. And I'm trying to get like this with this low carb situation, but it's not happening. JLo's coming out with, with something else. All right. I've got to move on because it's just too much. Oh, there's some blind items. I forgot. I think we, do we know what these are? Let's see. Look at me. Beauty and the Frizz. No. Cause I never get these right. Westman Atelier Foundation. I think that's the one that we know so far. So we'll look out for that. And then let's just go to Chic Profile Official and see what's what in the world of luxury. And I'm gonna let y'all go. Cause I gotta edit this video for tomorrow. Hopefully there's nothing. Yeah, there isn't. That's great. Okay, that's it. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's the mail. She looked through her little stuff and drove off. I ain't getting nothing. Oh wait, she's coming back. She's coming back. She's coming back. I don't have anything. All right, you guys, uh, that is it for our little purchaser pass this week. Let me know what you're thinking. I, I did tell you all what I bought, but as far as what I saw this week from the four websites, there's nothing on my list at all. I will be stalking the House of Siage cupcake though. It just came out. It's gonna be a long time before that one goes on sale. So I'm just gonna wait. But you know, I have my nice little collection of my four House of Siage cupcakes, but I did wait for those and stalk the website so I could get a discount. I mean, that was really my plan. So I would love to do the same thing with this, but with the little, I don't know, because I was gonna say with how elaborate that little gummy bear cupcake was i don't know but the disney one went on sale so i'm sure this one will too so i'm just gonna be watching and waiting in the wings uh, to see what happens with that but everything else is a no i did tell you about the little surprise purchases that i made and then with pat it was like i was going to always get it i just wasn't sure if i was gonna wait for the sale or not the bunnies palette from unearthly cosmetics will be here and then I think I told you about Amunet. So those two palettes I'm gonna be working on and just trying to find some other fun things to do. You know what I mean? I can't keep getting caught up in these makeup releases because what's gonna happen is they're already starting up with fall and then the holiday stuff, y'all. The holiday stuff, I just feel like they are gonna let us have it. And, and Black Friday, so like for Black Friday, I already know. Those Terra Moon shades, Black Friday is when I'm going to, to be dealing with that. Oh, there is one thing I did want to show. Hold on. Cleona is still going to be expanding their stained glass collection. And if I move down here, let me see if I see it. Yeah, it says, we heard you when you asked for more wearable neutrals and you won't be let down. I, Oh, I did that because I was like, I'm being smart, but no, the quotes are in there. 
So this is a new formula and this is a quad of blush neutrals that are perfect for everyday wear. So it seems like, I mean, I can be mad at Pat, but if that's what people are asking for, then what Pat McGrath is doing is like runway meets every day. And Cleona is about to do the same thing. I just want Cleona to still come out with those beautiful, shifty, intense shades that make me love Cleona too. Like don't, don't leave us, don't leave us, okay? Don't leave us for the new fan base. That's what I'm saying for Pat, for anybody. Don't leave the stands. Can we just find a balance between like putting something out for the, putting something out for the people that that loved subliminal and subversive but then put something out too for the people that love divine rose don't just jump ship daddy chill hmm. jump ship and leave us on the ship destroy anyway I, I, i'm exaggerating but these pearlescent multi-chromes like this little peachy one looks so good which one is that because i want that scepter this is another brand, Black Friday. I'm gonna put it on my list because that's the best time. Like, I don't care if I have to wait. Black Friday is gonna be the time for me to, to really uh, deal with my singles. Now, it also looks like Cleona's gonna be expanding. Oh my God, I forgot to move back over. It looks like Cleona's gonna be expanding the, the nail polish line as well. I like the two nail polishes that I purchased from the... Um, what was it called dragon fruit collection those were nice so yeah let's just keep watching and seeing what they're gonna do but my goal again is to wait for black friday for any type of eyeshadow singles because they have some pretty good deals so that's it y'all thank you so much for taking all some of your time and hanging out with me for another purchase or pass i hope this was therapy for you it always is for me so until i see you again make sure you are being gentle with yourself Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Oh,